Ross back onto the mound. He's got the glove in front of his face, and he's back to the windup. The 2-2 pitch, swung on and missed strike three. Ross picks up the first Swamp Bat strikeout of the season, and two quick ones here at Alumni, including five complete games. 2-0 pitch to Almonte. He swings, softly hit, down the right field line. It's going to be in fair territory for a base hit. Almonte turns the corner. He's headed for second. He's got a double to lead us off. The returner for the Keen Swamp Bats, Matt Almonte with a double here in the bottom of the first, and he immediately puts the Swamp Bats in business. Addison, one of their top hitters. Here's the 0-1 pitch from Ross on its way. It's hit softly up the middle. Tomani fields, throws the first in rhythm. A beautiful play by the kid going to Dayton next year. Have to have nine hitters, whether you like it or not. Well, hopefully the team gets some guys back next week. One, two pitch, fastball in there, strike three called, second punch out of the game for Michael Ross, and he threw the first nine, and here comes the second time around the order. Mid of Wetteru, and it's quickly 0-2 to Ignafo out of Eastern Illinois, and the pitch on the way, swing and a miss on the high fastball, and down goes Ignafo, that is punch out number three for Ross. Ross winds and delivers one, two on the way. This one chopped over to fir the first uh, couple hopper over to Rice. He'll tag the back himself. And the inning is over. One, two, three go the Nighthawks for the fourth straight inning. That's 13 in a row retired by Michael Ross. We're halfway through this one. Nothing, nothing. Strikeout. Trying to pick up Lewis's timing. 0-1 on the way to Gorg from Eastern Kentucky by way of the Atlanta area, Swanee, Georgia. Swung at the pitch, popped it up in the right field. Matheson toward the line. Hill, he will have room, and the inning is over. So 1-2-3 yet again. No changes between Ross and Lewis. That's 16 in a row retired by Keen pitching. 1-2 on the way. McShane gets ready and throws the pitch. Fastball, that one lined into center field, and that is down for a base hit. The hitless drought ends. As, Mc, as McShane gives up the first hit to Cavino, who's now on first base with a leadoff single. Pull the trigger. Yeah, it's not a pitch he can swing at, but it's not when he's happy for having been called a strike. Tiefsky goes back to it, 2-2 two -two pitch on its way. Strike three called, went to the heat. And that's the first out here in the top of the eighth. And for Keen pitching, get this, that's 20 batters retired in a row. Two strikes, two outs. Skeen from the windup. A hesitation, the throw, in there, strike three called. Skeen changes up the momentum, picks up his second strikeout of the game. It's one and two, Legier already back to work. Here's the one-two pitch on its way. Matheson lines one into right center field. It's a base hit around third, and scoring is Cavino. Carter Matheson delivers. Welcome to Keen, one nothing Swamp Bats. Tiger, infield comes in. Latito comes to set the tall right-hander standing at 6-1. Here's the first pitch. Fastball looped into right center field. It's dropping quick, and it's going to split the gap and go all the way to the wall. Two runs are going to score for the Swamp Bats. Jaden Brown held over at third. Garrett Rice pulls into second. He's got a two-run double, and the Swamp Bats break it open. It's 3-0. Now yeah, Rice doesn't waste any time. He splits between center and right field, and... One pitch, and it's a three-run game, and that should be enough for Kane. The St. John's Red Storm product. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Breaking ball, swing, and a miss. He got him. One out here in the ninth. Skeen picks up his third punch out. Top of the ninth. Here's the pitch. In there, strike three called. Ball game over.